Welcome back to Blue Mountain Valley, everybody. Driver53 here, and I've got another Let's Play. Today, what we're going to be doing is putting seed in the ground on everything. And what we're doing is soybeans here. I've got a factory that I want to make uh, some soy cola. So we're putting uh, soybeans in. I'm going to have to get some water also once they're ready. But this field that you're seeing right over here next to us, it is really close to being ready to harvest. I believe it's canola. And then uh, hopefully we're going to get to that. Maybe today we might speed up time a little bit if we get a lot done. Ooh, I better not. Ooh, that was close. And then we're going to start cutting down these trees. I want to expand out. I want like three or four fields going all at the same time here. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And... I don't think I own that one yet. I need to look at that and see if I do. But, the, oh, I am, it let me plow it. Well, that's, why do I not have access to that land? I was able to plow it. Huh. That's really interesting, everybody. I guess, uh, I need to be about right here. All right. All right, we're good. I mean, I think it's all gonna be one big field eventually anyway, so it's all right. We just gotta work within the rules for a little bit. The game rules, it will be good. Man, I needed to put some more lime up here. Totally missed that. But we're gonna be taking down a bunch of trees because I wanna make a uh, much bigger field over there where all those trees are at and I want to use the new updated treks this it's gonna be insane I'm not worried about making any money off of the trees I just want them out of the way um, there are quite a few over there and it's gonna make for a lot bigger field um, if we bring up the map here let me get this on cruise control really quickly. So I've got this area that's going to be a field. I've got this area down in here. Well, if I go to this, you can see it a little bit better. So this is one field. This is going to be a field. This is going to be a field by itself for now. This is going to be a field. And then if I do this, I own all the rest of that land. So we have a, quite a bit out there that we can have another really big field. And then I can have like five crops going at once. I've also got another area down to the southwest a little bit. If you're looking like at a normal map, that's got a bunch of trees in it. And I want to plant that with just grass. Um, I really want to get a big grass field going so that maybe we can have some hay. We're going to need hay to make TMR eventually. So I've got a hay loft. Might as well put some hay in it. And if I'm going to have 500 cows, we are definitely going to need a lot of hay. So I think what I'm going to do here is maybe do one more. Yeah, I should probably do one more headland um, all the way around. And then we'll set this worker free, and then we'll go do that. I do have another field that I'm thinking about getting a different... You know, this is a cedar, so it's not able to do everything... Um, but I'm thinking about getting, oh, nope, nope, I accidentally hit a button there. Did not want to do that. Um, I'm thinking about getting a planter and going and doing some, um, sunflowers. Because I need sunflowers for my, uh, oil factory that will then give me oil to make chips so I need potatoes too so that's why I'm thinking I'm gonna leave that small field alone over there for right now to make some potatoes and get a lot of potatoes in stockpile and then we may convert that over to something else a little bit later but we're gonna go ahead and do another round here and um, when I get done with this I will see you guys over at the other field well, I said I was going to be planting, and I totally forgot that this middle section here didn't wasn't cultivated at all. 
So I need to cultivate it before I get the planter because the planter that I'm, or the cedar, or, oh no, no, the planter. The cedar's good. It is a direct drill. The planter that I'm gonna get is not a direct drill and it's really wide and it doesn't have fertilizer. Um, so I'm gonna have to get a fertilizer going on this after we get done seeding or planting and I had to cultivate all this. So that's what I'm doing right now. I uh, just wanted to show you guys, let you know to be upfront and transparent, but I think we're gonna be all right. So we're gonna get this done and then we will uh, run over, use this machine right here for the planter also, um, unless that worker is done seeding over there and they might be they really might be and then we're gonna go get the t-rex and then we're gonna be uh cutting down a bunch of trees and then we'll throw some fertilizer on it too we got the tractor over there the new holland so good on that but i uh i had some really really good names for the mascot that we're going to be picking up here in this episode we're going to get it this episode we're going to get that cow and uh, we're going to drive the truck up there pick it up special or over there actually it's just over the hill and then we are going to uh, put it in the pen and give it a name and i had some really really good names some really good ones but i had someone uh, message me directly and gave me a name and the name's cheeseburger and i love food so we're gonna call our pig or our cow cheeseburger and the only reason is because one of my favorite movies from back when i was in high school is a little movie called varsity blues and if you know anything about that movie you know bacon so i figure i'd keep up with that and name our mascot after a food. We had a couple rabbits here at the house too that I got the pleasure of naming. So I named one of them Gravy and one of them Barbecue. And they was the names fit. They were like a, a red, a red, uh, red and white rabbit. So that was Barbecue. And then we had a gray and white rabbit, which I named Gravy. We were going to call it Biscuits and Gravy. But then we were like, hey, what if we ever get another rabbit and it's like all white? And I'm like, well, that can be Biscuits. So we were going to have Biscuits and Gravy and uh, barbecue. But that's my, that's my uh, animals with food names story. When I was a kid, all of our uh, animals had normal names, like Susie or Mac or Prince or Princess. I was like, I gotta start having some fun with these names. It's kinda like my wife, she names the children, I name the dogs. So, if you're a country fan, you get the reference. And if you're not, it's all right. But y'all, I think I'm gonna go ahead and, man, how many more strips do we have? We've only got like, Two more passes after this. I think I'll just hang around and uh, see what's up. So, like I said, we're going to be putting uh, sunflowers in this field right here because that's what our factory needs to be able to produce the oil for our chip factory. And I'm going to have to get a a trailer that I can put uh, pallets into, and I'm going to have to get a you know. Uh, a way to be able to do that too so I'm really really looking forward to the enclosed trailer from the TLX update I think it's gonna be included in this one I'm not a hundred percent sure um, but I know that David is working on the TLX um, the big 9000 and he's working on a trailer that's fully enclosed so we're gonna be able to put pallets in the back of that thing it's kind of a loading wagon and everything it's gonna be awesome but I think what I'm gonna use right now is the side curtain trailer to load up until that TLX trailer comes out 
uh, once it does we'll be making the switch over for sure and um, I gotta find a good way to load them up I don't know if I want to use a tractor and put a front loader on it or if I want to go skid steer probably gonna go stick skid steer I enjoy them I really do and um, I think it'll be fun driving between all the different uh, factories with the skid steer. How's our guy doing up there? Man, he is doing good. I may... I may just have him... No, he's only about halfway. Yeah, we better get this guy over here on it. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure that my workers are going to stay busy. I'm not hiring too many of them. I mean, I've still got to get a harvester. I gotta get some heads. I mean, I'm leasing everything right now just to make sure that we have enough money. I wanted to keep a little bit of, bit of money, so in case I wanted to buy another piece of property. But I think I'm okay with where where we're at right now. So we're gonna finish this up. Go dump this over here somewhere next to the the scouts and. Uh, be good to go so I might as well stop this so it doesn't go crazy on me while it's trying to fold up all right so we're gonna put this up over here and we're gonna go grab the planter Ooh, let's just do in cap for a little bit there we go. How am I going to get out of here? Ooh, that's a tight turn. Where's this road at? Oh, is it right there? I know I could go through the grass, but it's... I don't know. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Today I'm feeling like staying on the roads a little bit. Is that my field? Huh. Uh-oh. I think that is my field over there. What is in there? Let's confirm that that's our field really quick. That is our field. And what is in it? Corn. That's good. That's really good. I mean, I don't need it for the factories, but I could chaff it. Hmm. Tempting. Very, very tempting. I think I'm going to wait on chaff, though. Just until we get uh, a little bit more... Uh, da -da -da -da. A little bit more cows. I'm feeding them with TMR right now, just out of a trailer so I think we have a little bit more in the silo too or somewhere there's some more but we're gonna run down here and pick up a planter and then we'll come back up get this guy started on it we'll grab the T T-Rex T and uh, be good to go what do you guys think about this map I know it's been out for a while and I think this map surprised a lot of people. Um, you know, TNT Modding was saying at the time that he did this, he just wanted to get a map out on Mod Hub that didn't have a whole lot to it, uh, just to kind of find out what he could do, like the process with Giants also. And he found out that he could add some stuff in there, and it's awesome, and we love it, absolutely love it, and. Um, He's got some really, really awesome stuff in store for everybody. So definitely stay tuned to what he has going on there. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm thinking about running this big one. Oh, I can do fertilizer here. Yeah. So this is the one. It's 18 meters, but it does both, and it's also not a direct drill. And then this one here... Is 18.2 it doesn't do fertilizer so I'm gonna go ahead and do the horse for sure so let's take a look at it it looks great 
Requires 270 horsepower. That's fine. Lease. Here we go. Perfect. Let's see if we can do this from in cab. Oh man. It's a good color too. I like red. Red and red. So now we're going to go right over here and fill up. Somebody put one of these silos over here. And I just, I have to use it. I have to use it. All right, so fertilizer first. There we go. Pull up a little bit. Throw some seeds in it. Ooh, only 2,000 liters of seeds. I don't know how far that's gonna go, y'all. That seems to be a little bit loud. Is it? I think we're all right. You guys let me know. I've been playing around with my auto settings a little bit and I think I may have accidentally turned down my game. So if these videos are quiet, if it's hard to hear my voice or you're having to like play the video on max and still it's not like blowing your speakers up, would you let me know? I'm really wanting to uh, make sure that everybody can hear my stuff okay. Um, I was listening to one of my videos and it was really, really quiet, but I don't know if it was just that one or not. So if this one comes out and it's really quiet, definitely, definitely let me know if you would. So I think what we're going to do this time is we're going to run down here. Yeah, and then we're going to run up the hill. I should have went the other way. Dang it. I just took the long way, y'all. I'll figure these map, these roads out. I will. Like I took the long way down there and the long way back both. All right, so yeah, we are just going to cut right up through here. To our field, which starts right here. All right, so we're going to switch back over. We're going to unfold this. Like I said, this is going to have fertilizer. And we do not want corn. We want sunflowers. There we go. Drop it down, turn it on. Let's see how close I can get over here. It's not too bad. It's gonna be tricky without hitting the trees. I may have got a little bit too close, but I wanted to fully maximize the amount of land that was here. cooking with peanut oil now so I'm thinking on this one I may only do one headland because I think we can get trees and stuff out of the way and be all right I mean there's only a couple trees because I really want to get that TRX going but let me finish this up and I will see you guys with the TRX for sure that I I promise I'll be right back with it just give me a couple seconds all right, we got the T-Rex going on here, cutting down some trees. Now, you'll notice that I'm leaving a few here, and I'm going to leave those as my border over on that edge of the field. So, if they're coming down, they're not part of the border, and it's going to be field. Like that one there, we're going to make it part of the border, and then I'll edge up around over here. So, I'm pretty sure I own all the way out here as far as we can yep all right so all of these are going to be coming down too just making my way around the uh the big thicker ones are giving me a some trouble they really are Let's see if this one will do it again oh that one was okay maybe i got it in the right spot so 
Some of them big, the brown trees, like that one right there in front of us, there, it, uh, it's being tricky. Let's see if it'll do it. No, it went perfectly fine. So, I made a little video, and I don't, I'm not going to add it in here because I'm going to use it, I think, for one of my shorts, short videos. But uh, I made uh, pancakes. Yeah, pancakes. That's what we made. <laughs> no, it just sliced it up into I almost 100, 100 pieces, it seemed like. So, this is what we're doing. We're uh, trying to take as many of these trees out of here as we can. Just, uh, I don't know if I'm going to leave any of them and have like a little island out here. I don't think I do because I really think I want this to look nice and big and open. And every once in a while you get a little bit of lag also. It's not horrible. It's just doesn't make for great recording. Hopefully it didn't mess with you guys too much though. Alright, so we're making some pretty good progress here. Like I said, uh, these trees are going to be coming out. We're going to go up here as far as we can. I really wonder where are we at here on this. Alright, so we've got just a little bit farther. We're going to go up here until it says you don't own this land. And then we'll uh, turn back around and take everything else out. But our field that I was talking about, canola, is ready to harvest. But I want to get all these trees out of here because I want to go ahead and uh, plow up both sections at once instead of doing one and the other because I really want to define what my shape is with the inside one and then we'll come back and make the outside one. Ah, there we go. Oh, but it let me. That's interesting. Maybe it was just right on that edge. So, y'all, this is what I'm going to be doing. Um, I uh, got a lot of trees here to take out. I don't want to bore you guys anymore with this. And I don't think I'm boring everybody. It's just another stuff to do, too, right? So... I will see you all in a couple seconds. So here is the last tree. And there it is. And as you guys can see, we got every tree from up there on our property. So we're going to extend this field out just a little bit. And we're going to plow all of this back. Now, it's not going to be happening today at all. What I need to do now is go find a harvester and get all that canola into a hopper and then into a silo. But that's going to be it for today everybody. If you enjoyed the video, if you would go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to be kept up to date on all my latest precision farming videos, go ahead and hit that notification bell too while you're over there. Wait a minute. I forgot about the cow. We got to get the cow. Holy smokes. All right, here we go. I got so busy and worried about cutting down all them trees. I totally forgot about the cow. We got to get it though. Cheeseburger. That's why we're going to name it, right? It's kind of silly to only go for one cow, but he needs to experience it just like the other ones did, right? Yeah, it's a good thing I'm not having to stay on these roads. And these are suggestions, right? <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, everybody, thank you all for stopping in, all the new subscribers. You guys are absolutely amazing. If you like this content, thank you. Just let me know. Hit the like button. It helps me know that 
you guys are watching it and enjoying it. And I should make more of it. I want to keep working on this map. I really, really do. But there's so many other maps. And if I'm honestly not seeing very much, you know, uh, movement on this one or very much activity, you know, then I'm probably going to go to a different map. Nothing against you guys at all. I just want to do something you guys are really going to enjoy. All right, so we got a brown and white is what we have. So we need to get a different cow. And we're going to get a black and white one. I know this is typically dairy. But that's what we're going to do. All right, confirm. Perfect. So we have one cow now. All right, so we were able to get all of our goals accomplished for today. We got seeds in the ground. We got our cow. And we cut down all the trees. And that's what we were looking to get done today. In the next episode, if you guys come on back for the next one, we're going to be harvesting. We're going to be using the huge harvester. It's going to be a case, I can tell you that. But it's going to hold 500,000 liters. That's what we're going to be using. I don't know which header I'm going to use yet. If you know me, I like fast technology, so we might use that one. Um, and we're going to be... Maybe, maybe, um, cutting some grass. I think I might want to cut all that grass that's over there where we just got the trees out of the way first, collect a bunch of it, and start working on hay and possibly silage. So we'll, we'll kind of see as we get to that point what's going on. First thing, though, we need to get harvested in the next episode. And in this episode, to finish up, we need to get our cow over here. Cheeseburger. Where am I going? I need to be up there. I'm going to have to drive through these. Can I get it? Can I do it? Oh, it's plenty wide enough. I don't think Crazy Monkey would approve of my driving, though. If you guys haven't checked out Crazy Monkey Gaming, he's got some really cool stuff that he's working on right now. Red Viking also. The Shaman Man. Check those guys out for me if you would. They've all helped me out quite a bit, and I want to help them out also if I can. There's Cheeseburger. Right here. So, all right, everybody. This is going to be the end of the episode. Have a great day. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.